All right. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's about 5 o'clock, same day, like I said. Mm, yep, Friday, March 26th. Let me see, 500, I got 5.5, five. it's about 5.05. <laughs> Let's play. Let's see. If I hit a 5 on this, that would be nuts. Play some superstition right now. <laughs> Come on, fold, fold, fold. Ah, oh, yeah. How to get that one? Let's go, dickhead. Look at him. Just what? What? What are you? Like what? What are you? Yes, I leave notes, you guys. Especially on sorry ass players like that. It's like, what are you doing? You try to bluff me with that dumb shit, but still just kept calling. Just still kept calling. It's like, what are you calling? You have, I mean, of course we don't know right off the back, but I mean, about time we see them cards roll over, man, you have absolutely, you have a deuce three. And I don't remember seeing any type of um, gutter or open-ended, nothing until the river. And the river, it's too late. You, I mean, there, there's not one more card that's going to come. Yeah, and I only played that hand off of superstition, but by the time I hit that by the time I hit that that turn, that little bet on the turn I made, and I got that we hit the river and he, they did that, that little stupid ass bet. It's like I, I just had a feeling I didn't have anything. They're just sitting there waiting or hoping and praying for some dumb stuff to save them. Which I'm surprised it I mean, surprised it wasn't saved. Because usually in that type of predicament on the river, they'll hit their, their they'll hit their two pair or they hit that trips. That's what usually happens to me. But you got the king, buddy. King of spades. I got the queen. Oh, I should have. Look at what? What are you playing? I don't know. I think it pays more to just be a trash ass player because no matter how good and, and like, I, like I said in my previous videos before, I don't like to toot my horn. That's not how I was um, even during high school, you know, um, state champion multiple times in multiple sports, but I just wasn't big headed. I didn't brag about myself. I didn't do anything. So, yeah, I don't toot my horn, but I'm going to start tooting my horn now, man. But no matter how good you are, you just can't beat sorry. That's what I'm. That's what. That's what I'm starting to realize. You can't beat sorry, and you can't beat a. You can't beat a scam. No matter how skilled you are. 
Even if you're skilled and you have some luck, you still can't beat those two. Those two meaning sorry and scam. I gotta be careful. <laughs> mm. I got a room for one call. Now I have a room for a fold. And now here it comes where I cannot play just about any hand I cannot play because if it starts in this manner where I win within my first three hands, all of a sudden it's just going to be it's, it's complete lose, 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 no matter what hand I get. So that's when I said I got to be careful because I mean... I'm sorry they didn't give me pocket nines or ace nine, and I still wind up losing. But they gave me, but that's usually what happens. After that, I get these amazing hands. Fold. Don't do what I do, you guys. <laughs> it comes to that, because I should have actually stayed in. You never know. Could have won. It's happened before I won. Just recently, I actually won with um, five high. Well, not online. I was playing real poker. It was uh, ultimate poker. Well, not ultimate. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, damn, I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say. Uh, ultimate. Texas Hold'em. That's what I'm trying to say. What the hell am I thinking? Yeah, I know you guys. I should have folded. Because I know that it is. Hmm? You see? Now I'm back where we started. Well, we got 8,000 chips. We're gone just like that. And I barely even played. But you see the same people playing over and over. Almost every fucking hand. And we're going to work on this because, again, I don't like cursing. I need to stop. That's the funny thing, though. During the regular day, I'm just not sitting up there cursing when I'm talking to people. It's like only when I'm starting, I got to flip this record and I'm recording for you guys. I don't know. But let's see if we can cut that out. So, with this hand, your brain may say, automatically say, you must raise. You gotta raise. I can't raise. I cannot raise. Now, it'd be a miracle if I hit something on the flop, but most likely, I will not hit anything on the flop. And if I have a, a gutter, it'd be a flush draw, and I'm not even going to hit the flush. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Just hilarious. 
just hilarious. Hit absolutely nothing. And see, it's the same, the same people. Same people have hands every time. I can't, I can't even, look, I cannot even fake a, I can't fake a hand. I can't force a hand. I can't do anything. I can't even have a hand, but they always have a hand. Hey, give me a break. Look at this. This is why I say I can't, I can't play. I can't fold. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I can't. I mean to say I can't fold. I can fold. That's the only thing I can really do in it. That's the only thing I can be for sure of is folding. And the same hand. It's the same hand. Same people winning every. Oh. <sighs> But then we're gonna Trump. Yes, I fold ace. I'm not no donkey. Uh, every time I see an ace, I like get excited and do stupid shit stupid stuff you had, no I didn't have the ace of spades yeah I did yeah, it was. but I'm definitely not going to sit there and chase that because I will not get it and if I do magically get it <laughs> so I'll they're gonna have a, a full house, or sometime, or, or <laughs> shoot, I wouldn't even be surprised if I get that ace high flush, and they still win with some magical higher flush. <laughs> oh, look at that! What a setup. Yeah, it's the same people that win. I'm only going to play because of this empty 700, but I have a feeling someone else is going to, yeah, I knew it. It's so funny because they look at this, no, look, now it's going to, this, this is going to be the situation now. I already know, I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm just going to let you guys play it out. Every time I get a hand to play, or every time I play a hand, this person is going to raise because they're going to magically have a hand. That's how it's going to happen now. No way, man. say throw in a few bluffs but yeah they could i throw in a few bluffs you know i'm gonna bluff my behind right out of this tournament just like that but look same people same people playing every time these same two almost every hand they have a they have something they have something but if they don't have it they'll hit it on the river oh they fold okay let me try that they're gonna re-jam on me and win. That's how that works. Go ahead and raise.
You guys understand how bad I want to fold. I don't even care if there was two spades out there. I would want to fold. Like, playing poker, I used to be fun. And it, it should be fun. But now, it's just, like, it's depressing. That's why I just play a lot. Especially on... Well, I don't even feel this way about regular, in-person, real poker. It's online poker, man. It's online poker. I know some of you guys ask when there's the next video and stuff like that. It's, man. It's not even that. It's, I just don't even be wanting to because I just know how it's going to end. It's just going to make me mad, frustrate me. But I mean, the only upside is like me just showing you guys how it goes down. Feeling they gonna win. My point. What I say? I have a feeling they gonna win. And I said, if I have two spades out there, I still would want to fold. And what did I say? What did I say? What did I tell you guys? I told you guys specifically just a few minutes ago that it's gonna go every time I get a hand or have a hand. Well, that time I really didn't have a hand until the turn, and then you know whatever but there's no i already know i already know how this goes down i already know man and i'm not even excited about this flop yes i got trip tens yes i folded but i'm not excited why because i know what's gonna happen when there's two people in here that for some reason Playing almost every hand and having something every time. Man. <laughs> Let's see. Please call. I want both of y'all to have it. We already know what they had. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see what I'm saying? I know you guys could say it was a bluff. No, you're not going to bluff with that type of money out there unless you have that for sure hand. And that for sure hand is if somehow he wound up hitting that uh, hitting that four house or hitting that straight. Either way, I would have lost. And I flop trip tens. That's what I'm telling you guys. I flop like my last the, the video I made before this video which I will post that one first. In that video, I state I'll be fl I'll flop a set and still wind up losing. Bro, this this man. But you see what I said also, you know, I win, I, I win, if I win one hand within my first three hands, what's going to happen is I'm going to lose all the rest. And it's going to keep happening and happening. So that's why I don't be getting excited about winning the first hands. Because I, it's patterns, man. It, when it happens to you so much, and it keeps happening, and it keeps happening in the same manners, it's patterns. There's nothing else to it. It's patterns. You're being taken advantage. You're being gypped. You're being scammed. You're being taken advantage of. Oh, yes. I still got some milk. I still have some. Ooh, Reese's cookies. Damn, only if I had some cookies and cream ice cream. Oh, man. So, let's see who's playing in this hand. I'm going to have to fold, you guys. I'm going to have to fold until I can see that I can sort of win something.
I hope in this video you guys see exactly everything that I'm talking about. Everything. I hope you see it before it even comes, man. Let me see. Did I even have a diamond? Nope. But you see, man, you guys can see, like, I cannot win a game. But it's the, the same people playing and winning over and over, but I can't get not one here. It's like, come on now. And then I can't say nothing about it. If I email them, hey, how is it that these people win it, playing almost every hand and winning, legitly winning, and I can't even play one hand and win? Or I can't even win two hands? Oh, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just poker. That's just how it... No, this is not how it happens, man. Look at this shit, man. I can't hit nothing, man. I can't even hit the galaxy if I wanted to, man. But this is what I want you guys to see. I'm glad it's it, it, cause this is what this I want you guys to see this, man. I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. I understand. Like I don't want no one to tell me you can't win. I already know you can't win every hand. I understand that to the utmost. I understand it. I know it. I witness it. You can't win every hand. You can't play every hand. You try to play every hand, you're gonna lose. But no, these people are able to play every hand. These people are, it's, it's outrageous. Fold, man. Like I said, don't do what I do. You know, you stick around because you never know. I could have hit a, hit a, a eight, eight or five, five, but, you, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> this is online, man, and it's better online. So now I can hit a three. If I hit that three, is it going to be a club? And they have two clubs in their hand. They hit a flush. Well, let's see. Nope, but there's a club, though. It wasn't a three. Same people almost in every hand. With something, you know, I and look what I'm saying. I, I can't hit anything, and if I do, I'm lose. I've sent so many emails to these people, cursing these people out, telling these people they're they're scammers, or liars, or cheaters. It's so bad that they stopped responding to me. Like uh, somewhere around two to three years ago, they stopped. They don't even if I if I email them right now, they're not gonna respond. Now if I go over through the chat, they'll respond, but they're gonna take their slow precious time. Which you know what? That's another thing I'm gonna record. Since it's dealing with poker, I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna record myself. Well, no, mind, I can't do that because we might. <laughs> That email will never come, so we'll be recording for you know a limited amount of time. But yeah, they don't respond to my 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 things anymore. No, so you've been playing for about 25 minutes. Man, and it's so funny too, like, besides seeing all these people able to play this amount of hands and actually have something or winning, it's nuts. But then when you see these players go on just amazing continuous runs, I'm talking about four, five, six, seven hands 
in a row or even 10 hands, you know, in there losing one or folding one, usually it's a fold one, but winning that amount of hands and I can't just, and I can't win not one. And it's, and it's not like it's, it happens every now and then it's all the time. It's like, what am I doing here? It's like, I'm just here. It's like certain people on their site is just here to just give chips away so chip counts can be higher at the end. Or just for numbers. And I think that's one of my that's what my account is for these people. Just num just just to give the chips, just take his chips and, and, and call it a day. And it's so funny when you uh when I email them when I used to email them, when they used to respond, they'll be like, "Oh, we, you know, we don't, we don't have anything to do with the outcome. That it doesn't, we don't benefit." Blah blah blah. You do benefit. B word. Don't sit there and lie to me and insult my intelligence. You do. Every time you boost a pot, that's more money. That's more money for you. Yes, there may be a limit or a stop, but either way it goes. Why would you want to accept ten cents? A hand when you can have a dollar a hand. I'm 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 just using those those numbers as an example. Like, come on. So if you email these people and they talking about, oh, we don't we don't you know we don't benefit on the outcome of that. There's no point for us to boot that. that they're lying to you guys. You guys may say, oh my gosh, dude, Ace Jack, you got to raise. No, I got to fold or just call. And you most likely will see why. And if they jam, most likely they're going to have pocket eights, pocket nines, pocket aces, or pocket kings. And if they do, and I call, and I hit at least one of my pair, they are going to have one of those sets. I've seen it way too many times not to know it will not happen. Or to think otherwise that it will not happen. Look at this. <laughs> Look what I'm saying, you guys. <laughs> You might be like, dude, but that happens sometimes. No, but dude, this happens all to me all the time. I get amazing cards, they come low. I get low amazing cards, they come high. I know it does happen in poker, but for it to happen all the time, I can't even tell you when the last time it didn't happen. Look at this. I threw ace. Oh my goodness. And yes, I know. Now that we've seen everything, you could have said you should have raised. But regardless, I would have still gotten a call. And if I would have kept betting in two of them, they would have been like, oh, well, we're just going to keep calling to the river. I got a pair. Dude, I got a pair. People don't know how to fold aces. You can have an ace deuce and they're still going to call your ass. But yeah, you guys seen after I said, after I said what I said, you know, about 20 minutes ago or 25 minutes ago. Look, you see what you see what you see what is going on. And if you go back into my other videos and you apply what I said to these videos, you would see it's the same it's the same bull mess, man. Same bull.
You guys may also say, hey, dude, why don't you go check out another website? Well, dude, I can't check out another website. Number one, Global Poker, I got about, I think, about 50 something, 60 something thousand back from them years ago. Um, they thought I was bullshitting with them. I told them I would not accept them cheating me out of my money. And I got my money back from, um, uh, that's when they were able to use uh, American Express. Well, I don't know if they can use it. Well, someone actually did say they are able to use it again. But I got American Express to block them from, to block them, as well as pa PayPal to block them. But yeah, I got money back there, so I can't play there anymore. And then Bovada, um, I gave them another chance. And... It was more of, yes, I was still feeling cheated in certain uh, instincts because, and I even have proof. Um, I got to go back and find an email, but yes, I was involved in two ring games and I only felt comfortable with going back to them because two ring games that I did not know that I was involved in, they actually spotted it supposedly and gave me my money back. It wasn't a lot. I lost a, a good amount in the thousands. But they gave me a little, like a few hundred back, but I still felt happy that they were able to catch that. What? The tournament is still going on. Whatever. I don't know. But yeah, so I gave them another chance, but... Um, it was also technical issues, a lot of technical issues with them, but also, again, fishy stuff going on. So, I canceled them for my la my last time, and got like um, a few. Uh, I got I think it was like twelve hundred or something back from them. So now I can't play there no more either because I'm pretty sure they blocked me. Well, they, I know they did. And then America's Card Room. I just don't want to be on there. I just don't want to play there. It is horrible. It is. They are the. I can't even say if they're bad or worse, but they're horrible. Than Bovada. And any other site outside of those are like super, super sketchy as well. So I'm not messing with them. So there is no other place. Now, I decide to go take a little vacation, go out of the country, then yeah, I can go hop on party poker, but at this point in time in life, ain't, ain't no traveling outside the country. Well, not for me. Even though I'm used to traveling, I love traveling, I just can't do it right now. That COVID, man. Look at that. Hmm. Like, uh, that's that's usually how it happens to me. If I had the ace, the ace king, they'll hit a, they'll hit their uh, their set. They, they usually hit their set always. You would say, oh, you would have won. We, you know what? To be honest, I believe cards do change. So, and what I mean by that is. I feel if I would have probably played that, that river would have probably never been a 10. Or if it was a 10, there would have definitely been a 4 there, giving them a full house. So I never, I hardly go back and tell myself nowadays playing on there. I never go back and tell myself, oh, I should have played. No, I did the right thing. I folded. Good job. Because you just can't trust it. And people are like, oh, why would these, why would these uh, sites cheat? Why, why wouldn't they cheat? That's the question. Why wouldn't they cheat? Why wouldn't they cheat? They do it so often. They do it so well. They can, it's, and I tell the truth, it's not even, get, they, they don't even do it so well no more. They can, they blatantly do it in front of people's faces and just don't give a damn. But they don't give a damn because they know they're going to get away. Fold. See, I can't even fold myself into a win, man. 
The last hand that I have won or even came close to winning was 35 minutes ago. In that 35 minutes, it's the same players playing over and over. Yo, do y'all see that? The nine juice, the uh, the two nine. In my last video, the video that I'm gonna post before this one, you see, I I said nine two, and I played nine two, and but I won with mine, and it's the same suited nine two. Look at that! Please go back, and please go back and look. Please back, go back and look. Listen to what I say and listen to why I played it and look at wh how and where I played that. That nine deuce heart. Patterns, man. It didn't work out for them that time. But patterns. And look, it's the same people that keep winning, that keep playing over and over that, that won that. That is hilarious, man. I'm going to do my best to stay in as long as possible so I can just continue proving and, and, and proving things. Just proving things. Things that I said I would that would happen. Things that, that I'm saying that is happening. That's happening. It's happening. It's going on right in front of you guys' face. I'm going to show you guys again. What's today? It's uh, Friday, March 26th. 542. So if the, any of these little stacks play, call, they most likely will lose. Oh, oh. Bro, I can't even beg for a hand. I can't even beg for a hand. Go get some ice cream so bad. Oh. Yo, and also, check this out. I want you guys to think about this. I think a lot of times when when there's these tournaments that's going on, and there's these big tournaments, um, technology is not always a for sure thing. There are some flaws, there are things, some things that can happen. A lot of times I feel that they have it set up for certain people or a certain person to win. Either someone they know or someone that they can funnel the money through or just some random person to build up, like I was saying in my previous video to this one, a story, a story, a story of encouragement and a story of hope just to bring in more money, you know? But I really feel that when it doesn't, when it's not turning out the way that they want it to turn out, there's usually some type of fail within the system, they say. And they usually cancel the tournament or they stop the tournament, or they pause the tournament, or they do some, oh shit, I should have never did that, because yes, usually when I hit, like I said, usually when I hit, hit the straight, or I hit the set, that flush comes, my point, exactly, exactly, 
Exactly. If I go out, I want y'all to. I want. I want. I want y'all to see. I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. So who has a flush? Let's see the flush. Let's see the flush. My my point ex <laughs> My point. I'm glad that happened like that because you guys see exactly what I'm talking about. I hit a straight, they hit a flush. They hit a royal flush on the fucking river. And it's the same people that's playing over and over and over. This video is proof, man. This video is proof that this is nothing but a scam. Nothing but a cheat. Because I say the same shit. And I knew I fucked up when I... I knew I messed up when I caught that. Because I knew it. I can't... If I flop something on the turn, it's a wrap for me. It's a wrap. And that's what it was. It was a wrap. Come on now. And they don't just stop there. They give them a royal flush. Well, y'all, that's, that's it for today, man. I hope you guys can, you know, see through this, see what's going on. Um, at this point, I don't even want online poker to stop. I actually just want the hedge of these people. That's it, man. Because what they're doing is, is, is messed up on a whole, a whole different level, man. You're messing with people's money, people's time. But whatever, man. You guys, you, guys see for, you guys see for yourselves. Every time I said something in the previous or even now today or, or, or whatever, it, it, it showed. It showed in this video, this whole little video. And I knew it. I called, I told myself, no, don't do it. Because that's how they get. That's how, that's what they do, man. And even if there wasn't two clubs on that river, I mean, on that flop, if there was not two clubs on that flop, they still would have got to it on the turn in the river. Regardless, turn and river. That's how they always set me up. They set me up, and it's and it's always the same players that can play almost every single hand and have something every hand that wins. It's always. But there you guys have it. But online, biggest scam. Online.